My name is Sam, and I'm overweight. I'm a proud dad, a gamer, a music lover, a doting husband, and a tech enthusiast. I can find a hundred ways to define who I am, but two things really define how I look. I am busy, and I love food. So I've put on some weight, and it's not the end of the world, my issue has been finding a way to get it off. How can I combine what I'm already doing to provide more time to exercise and lose weight? I recently got the Meta Quest 2. It is a VR headset that puts you into games. It's a great piece of tech, an immersive and active way to game, and is the solution to all my problems. You see, my job is testing and playing with tech. One of my hobbies is gaming. So can I save time and exercise at the same time? Can you lose weight in VR? So the plan is simple. For the next month, I'm going to spend half an hour every day doing a virtual reality workout. And at the end of the month, I'm going to lose weight. So I need to find out how to maximize my workout by trying out a few options. I have a scale of games through to dedicated workout apps to see which would be the best fun to calorie burn balance. And these were the results. I started with a normal game as a benchmark, Super Hot VR. Now there's a bit of movement as you dodge bullets and I remember getting a sweat on when I first played the game, so it's a good semi-active game to play just to see what it would be like. Honestly, the calorie burn was very low. Despite being somewhat active, this game wasn't going to do it for me. It's fun, but not a good workout. 3 out of 10. Next, I tried Thrill of the Fight. It's a boxing game where you have to fight an opponent, dodge, block, and try to hit them as hard as you can, and as quickly as you can. It was a decent calorie burn, it got me out of breath, it's great fun, 9 out of 10. The next day, I went back the other way and tried Beat Saber. I used a game mode that meant you had to move a certain distance to pass a level, and honestly, I was surprised at how many calories I burnt. It was good fun and a good workout. My only issue is that it required a huge amount of motivation to keep the exercise intense, as I could imagine getting lazy with it and not putting in as much effort, but getting the same results in the actual game. So we move on. 6 out of 10. Next, I tried a dedicated fitness app, FitXR. On it, you have boxing exercises, high-intensity interval training workouts, and dance classes. I found that this app was great, basically a VR version of Guitar Hero, and the workout was intense. I found that this was best to work out for me calorie-wise, there's a good music to work out alongside, and the coach spouting motivational jargon every so often um, was also pretty good and helpful. I also appreciated the variation in the workouts. It wasn't just the same thing over and over again, which was maybe the only issue with Thrill of the Fight. FitXR, 9 out of 10. And on the Friday I tried a slightly different approach. I found an app called Octonic, and it's currently in development, and honestly, it may never get onto the official Meta Store, as I'm about 85% sure it was designed to solely kill me. For this one, you need a treadmill, and it goes against the point of the video really, as most people looking to do VR exercise don't have a treadmill, but don't worry, you're not missing out. In theory, you run in place on a treadmill, and then you set the speed on the app to match the speed of the treadmill, and lo and behold, you're simulating going for a run in wild crazy places. But actually, you haven't even left your home. The problem with this is that as the app takes you on this journey, it does something that you can't do on a treadmill. Go round corners. So as the app turns you around, your brain thinks you are turning, and you do this. Added to that, at one place, it literally went to run me off of a cliff without warning. Oh, where are we going now? Oh my word! <laughs> That's not cool! I almost died! Ugh. Like, what the hell? It would be safer running in a hurricane. Zero out of ten. Okay, so we have 
a plan. Now, I did find that the um, gaming was just pointless, um, barely did anything, so that's a load of rubbish. Um, the best workouts were actually the boxing and then Fit XR. Um, they were seem to be the most sort of bang for your buck. Um, I did enjoy doing Beat Saber and sort of putting maximum effort in. Um, the problem with that is that I feel like if I had to, to do that every single time, um, it would just be a bit of an issue. I need as much motivation from the app and the game that I can get. So I'm going to stick with just two. I'm going to stick with FitXR, uh, which has hit workouts, has dance workouts and boxing style things. And um, I'm also going to keep going with Thrill of the Fight, which is just a boxing game. Um, just because I felt like uh, it was really good. <laughs> I had a really good time. It was really fun. Um, you feel like there's like a purpose, you really want to knock the person out, you want to get them down on the mat and you feel like um, it just takes a lot of effort. So now the plan is to start working out once every day, 30 minutes, see how I can get on. 100.1 kilograms, body fat 21.5%, BMI 29.9%, .9. I am overweight and on the verge of being obese, according to this. Oh dear. So the work begins and I am boxing and fit exaring my way to a gorgeous body. Now the main challenge I had this first couple of weeks is getting used to the workouts. They're pretty arm heavy and especially if you're just punching thin air, it's pretty easy to overextend yourself and end up pulling something. So I was definitely feeling pretty sore, but the show must go on. After week one, it was time to weigh in and see how much progress I had made. I have to say, I'm pretty excited. I've exercised all week, and um, it was hard work. Especially, I find um, Thrill of the Fight seems to be the one that is um, doing the most to like get me out of breath. Um, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference. But I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. I don't know if I didn't think I've noticeably lost any weight, uh, but we shall see how it goes. Okay, let's see how we've done. So, comprehensive analysis. Since your last weigh-in. Gained one kilogram. Okay, so a bit disappointing for week one, um, gaining a kilogram. Uh, I'm going to need to step up the exercise. It's, it's not to do with the exercise, I don't think. My problem is not so much exercise as it is food. Yeah, I mean, I like food. I, I eat a lot of food. I think since I've been doing more exercise, my appetite has probably gone up. So I need to sort that out. This week's going to be better. This week's going to be better. I'm going to lose weight this week. And you're going to see. You're going to see. I'm going to exercise every day. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to eat less. The weight's going to get lost. So, um, we have a slight issue. I didn't gain weight. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, uh, but I only lost uh, 0.2 kilograms, which I could have just been because I had a big lunch one day or something like that. So, um, yeah, not particularly happy with the weight loss. My wife seems to think that I've not been um, the most faithful to my um, eating less regime. So I need to start being accountable. Today for lunch, uh, this is my first meal after weighing in. Uh, I'm going to have glass of water and I've prepared myself a bowl of tuna tuna mayo to be precise um, I did treat myself <laughs> put a bit of mayonnaise light mayonnaise though not um, full fat so there um, and I need to sort of keep track of my calories and then that plus the fact that I'm going to be doing some exercise means hopefully in a week's time we'll see some progress but for now Lunch served. This is going to be a VR video. So I really did step it up this next week. I made sure that the food I was eating was healthy, that I had small portions of everything and nothing nice in between, and the exercise I took to the next level. I was pushing myself to my absolute limit, and I was stopping my exercise at the end of it, absolutely knackered and exhausted. Alright, so we've had 
an issue. On the weekend, um, I was having uh, quite a significant amount of pain in my tooth, and on Monday, I went to the dentist. Before I left, within an hour, um, I was missing a tooth. Uh, they had ripped it out. Uh, safe to say that it did hurt. It's a bit sore. I've been told that I'm not allowed to exercise for a week, which is the last week of my little experiment, uh, which is a bit of a shame. However, I still need to do my weigh-in. Um, I have delayed it a little bit because it was Monday when I normally do my weigh-in. So today I'm going to go do my weigh-in and we'll see what happened. I've been quite hungry. I've not been perfect. I've not eaten perfectly. Um, but I've cut out the majority of all the extras that I was having every day. Anyway, let's go weigh in. Oh, so good news. Um, I actually did lose a little bit of weight. Um, came up on thing. 98 0.2 kilograms, which is about five pounds if you're in the UK. Uh, that's what I sort of normally use day to day. That's okay for just slightly over a week. It's not I've exercised this week because obviously the turf. Um, now to answer the question, then I mean it doesn't bode very well to say can you lose weight using VR exercise, um, and I think that's probably the wrong question now that I've got to the end of this month. The question shouldn't be can you lose weight using VR because. Well, yes you can, and also no you can't. And it's like what most people say, the problem is, is that you've got to find a decent balance between the two. Um, if you exercise, it is good for your fitness, it makes you feel better long term, it gives you endorphins, and it makes you able to do more things physically. Um, and this is a great form of exercise. I was getting my heart racing, um, I wasn't using my legs that much, so you maybe want to throw in something where you do use sort of your legs a bit more, have leg day. Um, but it was fun, it motivated me to actually go on and do exercise, as opposed to um, not wanting to go outside because it's raining or cold or wet and not wanting to do an exercise tape. It almost turned it into more of a game, which was really, really good idea. But the problem was, is that um, Without dieting, I didn't lose any weight. I struggle with feeling hungry. So normally, if I start getting anywhere near being hungry, then, well, I feel like I need to eat then and there. Now this last week, I've been really tough on myself and I've had to sit being hungry. I think that's not a bad thing. I think you need to get used to the feeling of hunger in order to lose weight. And I remember when I lost weight in the past, I did the exact same thing. I ate barely anything and I was hungry all the time. Uh, and eventually you just don't get as bothered by being hungry. You know you're hungry, you know you could do with some food at some point, but you're happy just continuing until you get that opportunity. So if you're watching this video wanting to know whether um, VR can be good exercise, it can be if you choose the right game to play. Um, the two I picked I think were pretty decent for exercise and they were good fun. Also, most games on the VR headset aren't actually that physical. They're more physical than sitting down on a console and using a remote. But other than that, it's not exercise, I would say. So that Thrill of the Fight and the Fit XR, they were both great fitness apps. And they have, um, especially Fit XR has a tons of different versions of it that you can do to sort of get your heart racing and that's really cool now if you mix that with a decent diet and you are strict with yourself and you're disciplined then yes you will lose weight but you've got to put in the effort there's no easy way unless someone just sticks a pipe in you and sucks it out anyway that is all from me thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Whoop.